Hi, everyone. Anthony Morganti here. One thing that I am horribly lax at is adding keywords to my photographs in Lightroom. I always regret this when I need to find a specific image or a specific type of image because in Lightroom, if you're in the library module in grid view, you could search for images in various ways. You could search by metadata, by attribute, or by text. If you search by text, you have the option with this dropdown to search by keyword. If I had gone in and added keywords for these images, I probably would have been able to find them a lot easier than just randomly searching. Well, those of you familiar with On One Photo Raw 2023 knows that it has some functionality built in that does this automatically. It's called Photo Keyword AI. It uses the power of AI to examine an image, determine what elements are in that image. Does it have a building? Does it have blue sky? Does it have water? Does it have a river? Does it have a mountain? Whatever. It determines what elements are in that image, then automatically generates keywords for that image. So when you import your images into On One Photo Raw 2023, you have the option to do that and have On One automatically put keywords in for your photographs. Well, On One has taken On One's Photo Keyword AI and put it out as a separate application. Now, it doesn't work as a direct plugin in Lightroom, but it's very easy to use with Lightroom. And that's what I'm going to show you today. Now, as you can see, I'm in Lightroom now and I have, um, I don't know, 11 images. And if you look over here on the right, you can see that none of them have keywords. So what you need to do first is determine what images you want keywords added to and where they are. They're in this folder right here, October 27th, 2021. Remember that folder and then close down Lightroom. Then open up uh, Photo Keyword AI and navigate to that same exact folder. You can see I already did that. And here are those 11 images. And again, none of them have keywords in them. Now what you need to do is just select all of them. Click on one and then hit Command or Control A so all of them are selected. Then go over here to the right and here this button, or here is a button called Scan. Click on that. When you click on that, you can see there's a progress bar in the lower right. Uh, on One's Photo Keyword AI is examining the images right now and determining what elements are in those images. And then it will give you keywords over here. Now, it won't automatically write those keywords to the photos. It gives you the opportunity to review them and determine if they are pertinent to the photo. And if they are, then you could add them. If one or two of them aren't, you could remove them. Now, it is relatively slow in my opinion. It does take a bit of time. You can see the progress bar going over here to the right and it's starting to add keywords. And the keywords will be unique for each of the images, even though I have them all selected and we're only, going to, we're only looking at the moment at one group for this specific image. They will be unique for each image. So if one of these images say, had a seagull in it flying through the sky. That specific image will get a keyword bird or seagull or maybe both, whereas the other ones will not. So it will be unique and I'll show you that in a moment. So what I'll do is I'll pause the video, let this finish scanning. And once it has all the keywords determined, we'll come back and I'll show them to you and what you do from that point forward. Okay, it's done scanning and you can see for this first image, it determined that these are the keywords for it. Now you could directly add them to the metadata by clicking on this little up arrow. Or if you don't like any of them, let's say you don't like Vivid, you could go over here and just hover towards the right and you could see there's a little X and I could click on that and get rid of that keyword if I wanted to. Now as I click through the images, you'll see that there are a different set of keywords for each of the images. So at this point, you should probably go through each of the images and make sure that all the keywords that it thought were keywords, proper keywords for that image or for that scene are in fact for that image and that scene. And if not, get rid of them. Uh, but they all look good. Just make sure they're all still selected. You can see they all have little boxes around them. And now we could write them permanently to the metadata. To do that, just click up here, add all. And you could see it's going to warn you, metadata change will be applied to the 11 selected photos. You could have the option to not show this again. Just click OK. And you could see now that 
the metadata is added. You can see it's up here in keywords. It's added. Now, you're done here. What you could do is you could close this down. Then go back to Lightroom. <clears throat> Open up Lightroom. And make sure Lightroom is closed during that because Lightroom may not allow you to access that folder if it's open with another application. Now, go back to that folder and you'll see that these images in the film strip down here, let me make this a little bigger. Um, they, some of them have like three lines and an up arrow and at least one of them has three lines. Two of them have three lines and an exclamation point. I'll show you how to fix all that. First of all, go to that folder again over here on the left. It's right here. Right click on that folder and go down to synchronize folder. And then, by the way, if you look over here on the right, see the keywords aren't there yet. This is what we're doing. We're making sure that Lightroom acknowledges that there are uh, keywords in the metadata for all these images. And that's what we're doing here. By right clicking on the folder, going to synchronize, it's seeing there's no new images in this folder, but there are some metadata updates, so synchronize those. Then you'll see that once it does that, all of those images that hit the three lines and the up arrow, if I click on those, you can see the keywords are there. And you can see they're different keywords per image. See, that has different keywords than that, and that one, and that one. But we still have a couple images that have an issue. This one here has the three lines and an exclamation point. In this case, just click on that and go to import settings from disk. All right. So just click that and then you could see now that one has the keywords for it. We go to this last one, which is right here. And you can see there's no keywords there yet. Click again on that three lines and exclamation point. Click the middle button, import settings from disk. And you can see that the keywords are now added. So that's how you could very quickly and easily automatically add keywords to your photographs that are inside of Lightroom. In the description below this video, I'll have a link to On One's website. You could check out Photo Keyword AI. I also have a promo code, although the promo codes sometimes don't work if they have product on sale, but you could give it a try anyway. Thank you, everyone who watches my videos. I really do appreciate it. Talk to you guys soon.